Panda, how's it going? It's your boy Hardcover, and this is the news segment that I promised to bring you guys where I would cover certain aspects that are going around in the comic book slash geeky community. I still don't have a name for this. Please let me know in the comments section down below, but without further ado, let's get into it. Our top news story today is UK artist Steve Dillon has passed away. For those of you out there that don't know who Steve Dillon is, chances are you might have heard of him or you might have seen his work at one point or another. The man has a legendary back catalog, including my personal favorite series of all time, Preacher. He has also worked on books with Jason Aaron and a bunch of other writers in the industry. Really sad to see him go. This has been a crazy year for this type of stuff. We've seen a lot of deaths this year. We saw earlier on the year, we saw Darwin Cook pass away. And really, Steve Dillon is another one of those guys that he was really influential in me when I was coming up and when I was reading a lot of comics. Broke my heart hearing the news. We still don't really know necessarily what it was that happened to him or what it was that led to his death. I hope, I hope it's not drug related or suicide or anything like that because really it would be extremely tragic to hear that about such a prolific and strong artist. While I know a lot of people out there aren't exactly the biggest Steve Dillon fans, a lot of fans criticize him for saying that he draws the same face on a lot of different bodies, and it can be argued about that. But still, the man's body of work is unprecedented and the fact that he started working in comics at the age of 16 years old, guys. Started working in comics drawing at 16. Most of us at that point are trying to get into girls' pants at that age. This man was drawing comics for a living. Incredible stuff. It wasn't all bad news this week, however. We also got the Wolverine trailer released. Sweet Christmas. This looks so good. Now, I don't know if it looks good simply because of the fact that it has the Johnny Cash Hurt song in it, because that song pretty much elevates just about anything into a depressing awesomeness. However, it looks incredible. I did film a reaction to it. I just haven't posted it up because like I've explained before, if you don't get your reaction up within the first seven, eight hours of the trailer dropping, then it's pretty much just gonna get buried underneath all of the other really popular websites out there and all of the other really popular comic book channels. Overall, I really enjoyed the trailer. I like what I saw. It definitely has hints of The Last of Us meets The Road meets Mad Max Fury Road. It really does look like Fox just saw all these different awesome movies and all these different awesome properties and said, yeah, let's do that. You know, let's take all of that stuff and stick it into one movie. That should work, right? I do have my hopes up for this. I am cautiously optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic about this simply because of the fact that Fox has a history of releasing really cool trailers and then kind of under delivering as well as a lot of other movies that are out there right now. I'm looking at you, Suicide Squad. But still, I'm optimistic about this because if they capture the tone of what was seen in that trailer, I think they can actually nail this down. And I think if it's done well enough, if it's done well enough, and if Hugh Jackman really knocks it out of the park, maybe we could look at something come award season. I know a lot of people have said there's no way that could happen, especially since it was released earlier on in the year of 2017, 2018 award season is at the end of the year and all this other stuff. But we'll see, guys, we'll see. We didn't expect Mad Max Fury Road to be something that was mentioned for award season, but hey, lo and behold, come award season, it took away a few awards from a lot of artsy fartsy movies so maybe this could be this year's Mad Max Fury Road maybe this could be the film that nobody saw it coming and it was a huge hit and it's gonna garner some awards just gotta wait and see but color me optimistic is all I'm saying Old Man Logan happens to be one of my favorite stories of all time and if they can knock it out of the park I'm gonna be super happy if not well then you know no be super bummed out it's not the first comic book movie that I've been let down by right Speaking of trailers, we also got the Guardians of the Galaxy teaser trailer. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I just squeed like a little girl. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy happens to be my favorite Marvel property and I love this trailer. It was so badass. It was so much fun. It captures just what you need. It's kind of funny. It captures the mood of Guardians of the Galaxy. That bit where Drax had to give Star-Lord a hug absolutely cracked me up. I am super excited about this. I hope James Gunn is somehow able to capture the magic of what made the first one really well done in a really special film. 
while at the same time I hope he doesn't tread on the same tropes and the same jokes because that can be kind of where a lot of directors tend to fall into when they start writing sequels where man this joke worked really well let's call it back let's do a little callback in the second film and then they just keep doing it over and over and over again and it gets stale there's a fine line that you can walk with that and I really hope James Gunn is one of those guys that he's able to walk that line now Gunn is a guy that I have seen most of his films and I really do enjoy a lot of his stuff PG porn uh, super all these other really crazy and weird films slither and I enjoy them uh, Guardians of the Galaxy to me is my favorite Marvel film like I've already stated cannot wait for the sequel plus just how cute is baby Groot how cute is that little guy oh my gosh and then Rocket Raccoon at the end of the trailer when he comes out and he's got kind of like a James Bond-esque ending where he's looking at the hole and you could see him and he turns his face oh oh perfect perfect I I can't wait. You know what? May cannot come soon enough. I'm hyped for it and I'm hyped for Doctor Strange in a few weeks. I'm going to have my review out within that week and when it comes out, but that's neither here nor there. Color me interested. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I really liked it a lot. I liked the first look at some of the characters, though. We didn't get to see Mantis in that trailer. I was surprised about that. I was like, let me see one good look at Mantis. Come on. Mantis is badass. Not in there. Eh, you know, maybe in the next one, right, guys? Perhaps the biggest news announcement for me was the announcement of the Nintendo Switch. Now we knew this thing was coming out for a while, it was originally called the Nintendo NX, but the Nintendo Switch, guys, this looks incredible, this looks badass. I cannot wait to get my hands on this thing. It was running Skyrim in the trailer. Now, it was running Skyrim in the trailer. We don't know necessarily if they have Skyrim actually running onto it because, you know, like all things, trailers lie, and Nintendo has lied about third party support for games in the past. With that said, I am super, super excited about this thing. The fact that you can actually stick it at your home, detach it, take it with you, take it wherever you want, and play it on the go is awesome. Awesome sauce. I am a bit concerned about a few things, though. I'm concerned about the battery life. I'm betting this thing will not get more than mm, three to four hours battery life if you're running your Wi-Fi and you've got the brightness up. If you've got that stuff off and you've got the brightness down, I'm going to guess about five to six hours uh, being optimistic honestly because this thing is going to be a battery hot it has to be with everything that's running on it if you're running skyrim and zelda breath of the wild on it this thing is going to chew up your battery so we'll see nothing has been released so far as far as the specs go and as far as how powerful it'll be i'm highly doubting it'll be as powerful as the playstation 4 and xbox one however i think it's gonna be a really cool buy nonetheless i can't wait for it i can't wait for the fact that i could just detach the console and take it with me because i tend to travel a lot and i tend to fly a lot sometimes so with that said it is going to be awesome i'm hyped for this thing that was my big announcement i was really curious to see how nintendo would pull this off there have been a lot of rumors about it throughout the year you know what is it what is it not what is it exactly Exactly. And now that we finally do see it, I am excited for it. I like the fact also that they're doing like little cartridges. They're bringing back cartridges. And there's been a lot of criticism online saying, well, you know, cartridges, they don't have as much memory as they used to have and all this other stuff. No, cartridges, in fact, have a shit ton of a lot more memory than Blu-rays do these days. So this week, Rockstar decided to drop the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. And for the most part, it landed with a thud for me. I wasn't too crazy about it. All they really showed was farmland, grass, and all that other stuff. So that pretty much gets my most disappointing. Uh, news story of the week. I was really hyped about it. IGN was hyping it all to hell and back throughout the entire week. However, it was just kind of me. Yeah, I expected a lot more, uh, especially since we've gotten games in the open world genre that have crushed it recently. I'm looking at you, Witcher 3, but you know, for a trailer, it really didn't show much. It just showed an open landscape, a few horses, a few buildings. Admittingly, it looks really nice, but still, I was kind of expecting a bit more. That about does it for me this week, guys. Thank you once again to patrons. I hope you enjoyed this new video segment that I'm going to be bringing you every single week where I go over some of the news that has happened this week in comics and in comic book related and geek news. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you so much. Once again, patrons, you are awesome. And I will see you tonight on the live stream post Walking Dead. Love you.